In this video, we're going to take a look at how to set up God Ray effects when rendering with Octane for Cinema 4D. And for this scene, I'm using the GodRays.C4D project. So you can open that up and follow along. It's a very simple project. We just have a plane representing our window geometry, plane representing the floor. I have uh, a tube here and a light in the tube, just an Octane area light and the tube is parented to the octane area light. So if I move this around in the scene, the tube goes with it. Pretty simple stuff. I have a little bit of post-processing effect that's adding that glare when you can see the light. So um, you can ignore that. I have a daylight, but it's set, it's rotated, so it's pointing straight up, so it's basically nighttime. So on all the surfaces, I have just a basic diffuse material applied with the exception of this cube, which represents our volume. So the volume has a specular material applied to it. So you have to render the scene using either path tracing or PMC render kernels. And the camera has to stay outside of the volume. So this cube represents the volume, it has a specular material applied. And you can see as I zoom in, if I get too close and inside the cube, the effect goes away. So we're no longer seeing that volumetric effect anymore. As I start to pull out, you'll see it'll suddenly appear again. And that's because the camera is no longer inside of the volume. So that's something to be careful of when you're setting this up. If your volume suddenly disappears, it's probably because you moved the camera in too close. So let's take a look at the specular material that's applied to the uh, volume here. And uh, it's basic specular material. So I go to basic properties, it's set to specular. Uh, I have my uh, transmission is white, so it's perfectly transparent, and my index of refraction is set to 1. And then I have a scattering medium that has been plugged into the medium input here of the volume spec. So if you select this and go to the medium, you can either add this by clicking on the uh, scattering medium button, or you can go down here and add it just by creating a node and connecting it into medium. And then for absorption and scattering, I have a white color. So for scattering, it's a, like 0.9 value, so it's like a very light gray. So that's all pretty straightforward. So the main settings you want to pay attention to on the medium are density, volume, step, length, uh, and phase. So density, this is dependent on your scene size. So the, the higher the density, the thicker the fog. So it's gonna, the light's going to have to work harder to get through it. Volume depth length, you can kind of think of as a quality setting. So the lower this setting is, the higher quality you'll get when you're rendering, uh, but it'll take a bit longer. So I usually like to set this at a value like 16 and then lower it while I'm tweaking the settings. And then the phase determines whether your scattering is gonna be forward scattering or back scattering. So that's the one you're probably gonna tweak the most when you're working on this. So let's open up the live viewer and do a render. And let's play with the phase a little bit. So if I move this all the way to a negative value, we're going to get more of a backscatter. And in this case, it kind of it spreads out the effect a lot. It's not exactly what we're looking for. So if I start to bring this more towards a value of zero, you can see we start to get more of a beam-like quality. And then if I bring this all the way up to this side, do it too much, we're going to lose it all together. So maybe bring it down just below one. So it's a great way to kind of tune the look. You can see how dramatic the effect is as I adjust the phase in the scene. The light itself is pretty bright. It's set to like a power of like 30,000. Again, that's going to depend on your scene size, the density of your uh, medium, and the look that you're trying to get. I'm going to increase the density somewhat and then bring the phase up even higher. And you can see now it's just kind of creeping through just a little bit. If I lower that phase, we can get kind of more brightness up here, kind of around the window. And as I bring the phase down, we're going to get more of the brightness here in the center. And it gets really bright. So we can bring the density down quite a bit and kind of make the effect a bit more subtle. That's too subtle. Now 
So these effects tend to be fairly noisy, so you'll probably want to add an imager node to your camera and adjust things like hot pixel removal and also adjust other settings to kind of minimize the noise as much as possible. But you can see it's starting to look pretty good uh, fairly quickly. So if I just let this go, we'll get a nice uh, clean render. So you can see after a couple minutes, it's starting to look pretty good. I uh, just need to tweak the settings to clean up some of the noise there. But that's the basic idea behind setting up God rays for Octane for Cinema 4D.